Good afternoon and welcome inside another edition of That's What I Think with Brandon Swanson. I'm your fearless host, Brandon Swanson, and I am back after a, a very long hiatus yet again. It's, it's just that vacation season here this summer, but uh, happy to be back with you guys once again and talking about a topic that is coming up uh, very soon in, in uh, just a, a matter of days. It's the MLB All-Star Game, and... Unfortunately, the most exciting part of the All-Star Game might just be watching your favorite players and the biggest names walk down the red carpet. Or maybe it's going to be watching the celebrity softball game. I mean, that's what we've come to. Because the MLB All-Star Game, it just doesn't matter anymore. Who cares? Who cares? The meaning is gone. There's no real need to win because... It doesn't matter. There, there is no reason why one team would want to win over the other. Gone are the days of the winning team, AL or NL, would then have home field in the World Series. That's gone. That's absolutely gone. And that hurts baseball, and it hurts its popularity. It hurts its popularity. The team with home field advantage has won 16 of 22 World Series since implementation of the wild card. The home team, 16 of 22 World Series. That is outstanding. So if they kept it the way they should have kept it, and I know that this is not the widely renowned opinion that they should have kept it. Many people were actually happy when they didn't have it, when they got rid of it. Not quite sure why, but there's a meaning then. The AL, the NL, they want to win. And they are hoping that they're going to be there in the World Series to have home field advantage. And for the fans, which is where it's probably more important, that's what the fans want. The fans want competition. The fans want to see a good game. And not that they'll see a bad game necessarily, but maybe there's a little bit more riding on it. If there's something that at the end, there's an outcome that you're going to see later on in the season. Maybe we wouldn't see as many blatant snubs. Let's take, for instance, this season. Blake Snell from the Tampa Bay Rays. 12-4 record with a 2.09 ERA. An American League leading 2.09 ERA. He got snubbed. He's not in it. He's not in it. And now we're going to have snubs all the time. It's just, it's, it's going to be something that happens. Award shows, they'll be snubbed. All-star games, they'll be snubbed. It's going to happen. But a guy who's an American League leading 2.09 ERA at 12-4, and four, and he is not in the all-star game, that's crazy. And maybe if there was more of a reason to win, players would be more apt to vote. Players would be more excited about it. And then they could be more vocal about it which would then in turn get the fans to be more excited about it. Honestly, it's been a number of years since I, I voted for any player for the All-Star Game. Reason being, for a number of years, it just hasn't mattered. Who cares? Who, who, who cares if you know, so-and-so gets in, doesn't get in? It doesn't matter. There's, they're going to win a whoop de doo The American League won, and that's it. I, I think that you, you look at what it could be, and I just think that there's so much more competitiveness. There's more of a reason for a fan to tune in and watch. There's more of a reason for a casual fan to tune in and watch. And that's what baseball needs to get at now. They need to get at the casual fans and bring them over. Baseball over the years has been losing fans. They've been losing viewers. The game is too boring. It's too long. It's this, that, and the other thing. Well, baseball, you need to make it a little bit more competitive then and a little bit more exciting for a fan and a casual fan to tune in and watch. And right now, with what they're doing at the All-Star Game, they're not doing that, they're not helping themselves. So here's the thing, you can look back, you can look back, let's look back to 2016, it was the Cubs and the Indians. You may say, you may say that, you know, one game, one game deciding the winner of home field advantage, being the Midsummer Classic, is arbitrary, but you could also say that the best team with the best record is also arbitrary because a team over here, let's say from the National League, and a team over here from the American League are playing completely different schedules. 
And like I was getting at, 2016, the Cubs and the Indians. The Cubs, 19, they had 19 games remaining in the second half. And it was chock full of the Cincinnati Reds and the Milwaukee Brewers, who at the time, the Milwaukee Brewers are what, not what they are now, current day Milwaukee Brewers. The Cleveland Indians had many more average, middle of the road, or above average and better teams. The Chicago Cubs ended up with 104 wins, excuse me, 103 wins. The Indians ended up with 94 wins. So you're still not playing on an even playing field. There's going to be differential. Why not just make it in one game that the National League won? Okay, boom. They've got home field advantage in the World Series. The American League won? Okay. It, 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 it's, like the same, it's like the same thing. It doesn't matter either way. Might as well put some more competitiveness into it and make that the, the Midsummer Classic something fun to watch and more exciting than just a red carpet show for MLB Network to go out there and talk with the guys. Yeah, that can be kind of fun and funny, but does it do anything? Especially now that we look in a year where I will say we have a very, very weak home run derby. I, in my opinion, I look, Bryce Harper should win that thing easy. Now that I've said that uh, publicly, he will not. But it's, it's like you need to add some more excitement when more and more guys are backing out of the home run derby. They don't want to be in that. So that's kind of going by the wayside. That's not as fun and exciting to watch anymore. There's got to be something. There's got to be something. And for baseball, you're really missing the mark by taking the All-Star game and making it something that means nothing at all. This is much more of a fan involvement and interaction issue as opposed to player competitiveness issue. Because players, they're, they're gonna be competitive either way. They're gonna be competitive if there's something to play for. They're probably going to be competitive even if there's nothing to play for at the end of the day. We'll probably still see a competitive All-Star game, but how many fans will we see watching it? How many fans will be involved? How many fans were involved in the voting as opposed to as many fans that could have been involved in voting if there was a little bit more on the line, if there was more into it, if there was more surrounding what the All-Star game could be? There could be a lot more excitement and bring in the fans a lot more. But we all know the MLB has been losing fans over the years, and I've said that already. And, and, and that's, that's obvious by baseball's hardening of trying to shorten games and speed up gameplay and uh, uh, trying to do everything they can to make it go quick, efficient, fast, and make it a little bit more exciting. Now look at the NFL. The NFL is in turmoil. The NFL is in turmoil in terms of where they're at with their viewers, where they're at with their rules and everything. That's another monster all in of itself. The MLB should capitalize on this. Take the fans that are wavering with their NFL, wondering if they want to continue to be a fan there, bring them into the MLB. For the most part, an NFL game is going to be about, what, three hours. An MLB game, on average, we're looking at three, three and a half hours for your average game. What's the difference? The game, yes, 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 you're already saying, Brandon, there's a huge difference. But time-wise, there's not. Time-wise, there's not. You still have big plays. You still have high drama. It is still fun and exciting. The MLB can try and capitalize on this, but they need to make it fun and exciting again for the fans. That's the most important thing. And by making the All-Star game mean something again, might just do it. And that's why I think this week, everybody, thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for coming back. It was good to sit back in this chair, be in this studio, and be back in front of all of you. And I would like to say that I'm going to be back next week, but I'm, I'm not. I'm out on vacation again next week. So hopefully somebody will sit in this chair. Ricky, I am talking to you. Uh, or somebody will, will fill in uh, for me here uh, while I am out again next week. But uh, again, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Have a great rest of your week. Have a wonderful weekend. So long.